in this week's conservation corner we're going to highlight for you some of the some of the efforts that are being made by our local fish and game clubs here on Manitoulin it's because of the countless hours that these guys put in that we're able to enjoy the opportunities that stocking programs have and uh, do for the local fishery here up on the island. So our hats go off to the Little Current Fish and Game Club and the United Fish and Game Club of Manitoulin because their efforts don't go unnoticed. It's opportunities like this that we have to thank the Fish and Game Club and their efforts, their concerted efforts on Manitoulin. What an awesome way to start off this season. We hope you enjoy our ice fishing episode. Get off the couch, fuel your passion, fuel the fire, and get outdoors. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. Life offers no guarantees, but the one thing that we've learned for sure is that the time we have is indeed precious. The more time we spend with family, with friends and with nature can make the difference between living a good life and living a great one. Join us on our quest to be participants rather than observers, to learn from our mistakes, to share our successes and our failures as we spend all the time we have chasing our dreams, fueling our passion and fueling our fire in the great outdoors. Fuel the Fire TV is brought to you by Closed captioning for Fuel the Fire TV is brought to you by Island Sunrise Cottages. The beautiful part about Manitoulin Island, especially when you're ice fishing, actually any time of the year, is that you can go for any number of species on any given day. It's the early part of March break. It's March 9th. This morning Luke and I went out for rainbow and whitefish on the east end of the island. This evening, Rob and Tanya are going for lake trout on the third, the largest lake on the island, Lake Manitou. And Diane and I are going for late evening walleye on Lake Mindamoya. This is typically when the fish really start to turn on. We've got probably three or four weeks before ice out. So we should start seeing an increase in fish activity. Again, we're targeting some late season walleye. And uh, these fish, are, are predictable at this time of year. They hit right at dusk and they hit hard. It's fast and furious. You gotta get out right before dusk. We let things settle down here um, right at dusk and then it's nice and quiet for that last little bit of light. And this is when these fish truly become the, the master predator that that we know them to be. We're jigging with the four inch minnow right off the bottom. Um, we know this, this bait worked. We have it tipped with some live minnows. All right, we got another fish on the, on the sonar. This thing's gonna hit, I just know it. It's right there looking at it. And that's the beauty of having this, it's a little bit of electronics, is that it does make the, the whole experience a little bit more enjoyable. Not that it needs to be any more enjoyable than it already is. He's got it in his mouth. Here we go, get ready. Boom. All right, here we go. <sighs> This could be another good fish. Oh yeah, this one's good. Let me get this out of the way here. Oh no. Oh no, I lost him. Son of a gun. Ah, darn it. All right, we're not gonna lose this one. I promise. Let's see what happens when I get a little bit closer to it. This one is giving me a pretty good battle here. He wants to, uh, again, I only have that, again, that little hook on there. So you gotta be careful. You gotta keep that tension on the line, right? And now he's got it wrapped around. You son of a gun. <clears throat> he's got it wrapped around here. And I gotta try and do my best to not lose it like I did the last one. 
come on. No, no, no. Okay, here we go. We're back in business, folks. Now, I would like to eat a walleye. So, I'm hoping this is actually a little bit smaller than the last one. And it is. It's a nice little male. And I think what we're going to do is that we're going to take this out of there. Perfect hook set right on the lip. And this guy is a little bit smaller. So that's a pan sized fish here. We're going to keep this guy and uh, see if we can throw that, that lure back down there. That's a gorgeous fish though, as you can see. And uh, again, as you guys know, the walleye males are, are typically smaller than the females. Any of those one and a half, two, two and a half pound fish are more than likely a male. So we're going to keep that fish and we're going to just reset this. This segment of Fuel the Fire TV is brought to you by North Meridian Enterprises. We're ice fishing on Manitoulin Island, the largest freshwater island in the world. It's located in Lake Huron, the northern part of Georgian Bay. It's the end of March and we're doing a run and gun episode for as many different species of fish as we can. Walleye, perch, lake trout, rainbow trout, and freshwater ling. That's thick. Okay folks, today we're fishing on South Bay Mouth and uh, we're fishing white fish. Talked some of the old timers around and they said uh, boil some macaroni. And don't boil it too long so it's still stiff and then freeze it. So I've hooked it on my uh, lure like that and I'm going to drop that to the bottom and obviously as it melts the macaroni will dissipate and they say it attracts the fish so I need all the help I can get to catch one of these because my wife is uh, certainly out fishing me again. I was finessing this fish for the longest time and he gave me a little hit. Set it back down, bounced it a couple of times and he did it again. There you go. Manitoulin whitefish with a little grub. Weather's going to change and we're not going to be able to uh, be out here anymore. So the macaroni is on the bottom, so you just give a little jig, leave that ball on the bottom. Okay, I got my first white fish finally here. Fish on South Bay Mouth, Manitoulin Island. Awesome, it's, it's a lot of fun, a lot of fun to finally catch one. Just a little bit more tight. Whoa, come on. Uh, okay, come back up. He's got him, she's got to be tired. It's one hook, I got one single hook on here. And this rod is, uh, actually was giving me a little bit of of difficulty, the reel wasn't working that great. <sighs> this is an awesome fish. This is a great, great fish. Let me show that to you. Again, hook right in the corner of the mouth. Just an awesome walleye for Manitoulin Island. You know what, this is a big female. We're gonna put her back down. She is fantastic. Wow, what a great fish and an awesome fight. Get off the couch, fuel the passion, and fuel the fire. Again, that was an awesome fight. I just love that. You just can't get enough of that. And, uh, you know, the fishery here on the island, we've got some groups that are doing some fantastic stuff with the fishery to help, uh, to help sustain the walleye and um, the lake trout and the salmon. Groups like the United Fish and Game Club of Manitoulin and um, 
all the local groups, the Little Current Fishing Game Club, uh, President Bill Strain and all his group out there do fantastic work with kids. Um, they bring schools in to watch the hatchery and it's because of groups like that that help the local fishery that we're able to catch those fish. Yeah, so. the hatchery started in 1986. There was uh, no walleye running the river at that time at all and we decided to uh, try to bring it back. Uh, this is our 30th year and we've planted approximately 1.2 million fingerlings in that period of time and approximately 9 million fry in that period of time. Yeah, this is our 10th uh, year with the guards of the school kids. We do approximately 100, 110 kids a year and uh, I think it's quite a successful program. Uh, we're now doing uh, five schools. Uh, we do Little Current, we do uh, Lakeview, and we also do Mindamoya, Siganak, and the, this year is the first year for Quimacong students to come over. With regards to Manitoulin Streams, we've formed there a great partnership. Uh, we've done an awful lot of work here in the river. We've had about uh, four or five different projects. We did the fish ladder, and uh, it uh, really, it opened up about 500 meters of new spawning grounds uh, above the uh, rapids that was there. We also have a unique uh, situation here. We run a uh, river watch program here on the river every night and that is simply to protect the spawning walleye and uh, let them do their uh, thing with regards to laying their eggs and fertilizing the eggs and so forth and uh, it's been a great uh, success as well. Like thank all the people that support us, uh, businesses as well as uh, club members who come in here and work every, uh, every day. This is three days in a row we've been doing that. Uh, I'd like to thank my wife. She does uh, a lot of work here with regards to some of the other ladies. Yeah, we've had a great partnership with Manitoulin Streams and we hope to continue that in the future. Good job to those guys. They do fantastic work and uh, this little macho minnow is my favorite lure this winter. Mwah. Lots of lots of good fish on this. Let's get another one. That's okay. Nice and slow. Bring it up. Oh! Ho, 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 ho. Darcy is on fire tonight. That is awesome. It is a school night. Darcy is supposed to be, uh, it's past her bedtime, <laughs> but it is the last evening of, um, of walleye season and our run and gun weekend. And uh, Darcy is just out fishing us with this Swedish pimple. <laughs> it is the lure of choice. I'm thinking of switching to one myself. No. Can I have your rod? No, this is mine. Fuel your passion, fuel the fire, and get your kids outdoors. <laughs> this segment of Fuel the Fire TV is brought to you by Great Spirit Circle Trail. Welcome back to Fuel the Fire TV. Ice fishing is a fantastic way to keep our love for the outdoors alive. Both Rob and I are huge advocates when it comes to taking our kids ice fishing. It teaches them and reminds us how important it is to respect the environment and it develops an appreciation for where food comes from. Don't forget, it's also a ton of fun. Check out this footage. Um, fish got a fish on. Feels like a nice one too. Yeah, this is big. Bye bye, your sister. 
That thing's a monster, man. And there you have it. Get your kids into the great winter activity of ice fishing. It creates memories for both you and them that equate family, fun, and nature. We also venture out there for some of that early morning tranquility, especially when there's no wind, the birds are chirping, and you've got a beautiful sunrise. Heard a little bell. Now the last time I pulled one up, oh, it's a little perch. A nice little perch. It's an average size perch for this lake. And the lure that we're using is a brightly colored lure. I was just thinking that this is the kind of morning, I think it's the first morning that we've had, that we've been out here. It's calm. The sun is out, I can hear birds chirping, which is an added bonus. And it's just gorgeous out here. And these are the times when you want people to come out and experience ice fishing because of just how awesome it is. Okay, here we are on Lake Manitou. It is an absolutely gorgeous day. We're marking fish on our sonars. Rob is on a different part of the lake. I think they got a little bit more luck than we did but that's okay. Lake Manitou is the largest lake on Manitoulin Island. Manitou is an Ojibwe word for spirit. Chimanitou or Gitche Manitou is great spirit, hence Manitoulin Island. There are a lot of First Nation names for landmarks and for communities on Manitoulin Island. And if you ever visit the island, make it a point to stop in at the Great Spirit Circle Trail in Chiging. If you're interested in the local history and culture of the Ojibwe people, this is a great place to learn. They've got guided tours, they've got medicine walks, you can make fry bread, they've got a little mock village there that you can partake in some of the activities that go on, and it's super interesting to give you a perspective, the First Nation perspective here on the beautiful Manitoulin. This segment of Fuel the Fire TV is brought to you by Wequemekong Tourism. We're on the most easterly section of Manitoulin Island. I'm fishing with Luke Wasigizik from Wasigizik Tours out in Wekwemekong. We're fishing for rainbow and whitefish. What we're doing, we're fishing in about 23 feet of water, doing some bottom bouncing and just coming right near the bottom and trying to pull those whitefish right up off the, off the 22 foot mark. Hopefully we're gonna hook one up shortly and bring you that action. We're fishing here today, we're fishing mainly uh, rainbow and, and whitefish. You know, pretty simple setup, using a small, uh, a small little medium chub. You notice the hook I got on there too as well, it's just a small little size 10 uh, J hook. And they have the small little mouse, so you want to make sure you get a hook uh, that's small enough so you get a good hook set. That was a fantastic eight pound rainbow from South Bay, Luke. Good job. How could there not be great fishing opportunities on an island that has 100 lakes on it? We encourage you to come up during any season to try your hand. When it comes to ice fishing though, I just can't get enough of walleye. Okay, so full moon is on Sunday. And there is definitely a correlation between how the bite turns on and that full moon. Three days before a full moon and three days after that full moon, we should be seeing some, some good fish and we are seeing some crazy walleye right now. So we'll see what this is. Hopefully this is a walleye. It might be a big ling, but he seems to, uh, not really want to come up too quickly. Okay. This is a real good Lake Mindamoya, Mindamoya walleye for the end of March. But what we're gonna do, this fish is a, just a gorgeous, gorgeous fish. It's probably, four and a half pounds. Um, 
maybe five pounds and we're going to uh, get this fish right back in the water before it uh, before it's too late but this is a, again a real good fish we want to help this lake out by putting these big females back in the lake all right so as you saw folks we we uh we tried to revive this fish and uh we weren't we weren't successful but you know what we make we take uh, a lot of pride in in being able to provide you know a, a real um a good meal for our families and and that's what it's about i mean it's important to to realize and teach your kids that you know the the full circle of from being a part of harvesting something uh, you know a real nice fish like this to rate to table and to to celebrating that with family and having a big dinner like that i mean that's important and that's why we get outdoors and when you do um you know you can catch fish like this and and when you do it's awesome okay so our run and gun weekend up on manitoulin island this is a real special spot for me i had a a, a very personal encounter with a good friend of mine he passed away here and his name was was Bert Cousineau. He was a master angler. He was a very good friend. This episode of Fuel to Fire TV is dedicated to the memory of, of a good a good friend, uh, a, a great fisherman. Yeah. Bert was, uh, he wanted to catch walleye. And if we catch a walleye tonight, we're gonna put one back down the hole in memory of Bert. This doesn't, I think this is a ling myself, but you never know. It is that time to be catching walleye or ling. No, it's a good little walleye. In memory of our good friend, Bert Cousineau, we're gonna put this fish back and, uh, and we're gonna uh, and thank him for, for being here with us tonight, even if it is in spirit. This is one's for you, Bert. And there he goes. Feel your passion, folks fuel the fire and, and get outdoors. <laughs>